All right, look at these. You remember these photos of mushrooms growing in a bathroom in a house on McDill? Or how about the mold on an attic door in the ceiling? We have been telling you about questionable living conditions on military bases, including McDill Air Force right here in Tampa Bay. Today, the Air Force responded with some of what the families who've been affected were asking for a tenant bill of rights. 10 News reporter Eric Glasser is taking a closer look at the effect that could this could have on hundreds of families right here on our area and hundreds of thousands across the nation. Uh, we also did a, a directed uh, review of all on Friday, U.S. Air Force Secretary Heather Wilson got an earful from families living at McGill Air Force Base about mold, rats and other issues in their military housing. They found 23 types of mold in our home at levels unfit for occupancy. Today, less than a week later, Wilson joined representatives from various branches of the service, taking more heat, this time from senators on Capitol Hill. I know you can fix this problem, but this has to be a top priority. Part of that fix unveiled today, a tenant bill of rights, putting base commanders and housing operators on notice what their responsibilities and obligations are. A draft version lists about a dozen new rules ensuring safe living conditions, an on-base advocate, attentive property managers, and convenient methods to file complaints. Repairs should be made promptly. If not, rent could now be withheld. Disputes handled through mediation, privately, and without fear of reprisal. Of course, Tampa Bay is home to lots of military families, both active and retired. So ask folks at places like the American Legion here in Madeira Beach what they think about a tenant bill of rights, and they'll tell you it's long overdue. They should definitely take care of the military. They've taken care of us all this time. I mean, they go through enough when they're over in the battle zones and everything. They don't need to put up with dirt here, too. The people who are living in there have uh, the expectation of living in a safe a healthy environment. The issues aren't just at McDill. There have been similar problems reported at bases around the nation across all branches of service. Most of the housing is owned or managed by private companies who military leaders promise will now be held more accountable. I want to make sure that the generations that come behind us can feel like every base is home and it's safe. And this same tenant bill of rights could also be extended to individual members of the military, whether they live in barracks or in a house. Officials said those serving our country deserve clean, safe and dependable living space.